we've got our mountain magic seeds that have grown into seedlings here. Um, with they've, they've gotten quite big, as you can see. Um, they've grown quite tall. These tomatoes are indeterminate versus determinant, so they will keep growing taller. They are ready to be moved from the seedling tray up to small pots. And this is where they will grow until they're ready to put out into the garden beds. So we have here our potting mix. Um, previously we showed the seedling tray mix. Um, the seedling tray mix is finer, it's more like coconut core or something like that that's very small. Um, the seeds are small so we're putting it into small matter so that the very tender seeds, the very tender roots have a place to go and something to grab onto. The potting soil is a bit coarser. We have perlite in here. We did mix in the same uh, same fertilizer with the same mix as far as uh, ratios and things like that. It's the same one. We're mixing it in, but we're just mixing in a, a more coarse material for the roots. So for taking the seedlings out of the tray, the roots are still very delicate. So we wanna handle them very carefully. So to take them out, I'm actually going to tip this tray on its side like this before we pull them out. I'm going to take my pot, these are just little four inch pots, and we're going to put the soil in there. Not too loose, not too compact. So somewhere in between, like if you're baking and you have brown sugar, you know that brown sugar is packed in like this. Right, but if we do that, the roots don't have anywhere. It's hard for the roots to grow in there because it's too hard. But if you do white sugar and you just scoop it in, it can be a little bit too loose and you can end up with air pockets. So we fill it up, give it a gentle tap to eliminate any air pockets. Um, and then if we fill it right up to here, we're good to go. So we're gonna fill a couple like that. So in here, we have our little cells. So for the cells, we're going to squeeze the bottom of this tray and basically try and push it out from the bottom. Because you can see here, we have a very delicate root system. And for the pots, we're going to stick two fingers in and make a hole. And we're going to gently take these roots, make sure the roots are all going straight down. Set that gently in there. And then come around with the soil. Like that. Now the other thing you want to be sure of when moving them up is labeling. And here we've labeled one per tray because the whole tray is the same mountain magic. Now for these pots, I say it's really important to label every single pot because you can put one label in the same tray, but since they're individual pots, if they get mixed up, then you don't know what's what anymore. And I've had that happen. So I just make it best practice to label every single pot. And we still have the not magic tomato and the date it was planted, so we can still remember how old it is. So we have these, and we'll keep these uh, in here. We'll keep them well watered through the whole pot. We want to make sure that the they don't get water just on top, but they get watered all the way through, so the water is draining out the bottom. And then we'll keep these in here. Um, our plant out date for the fall is September 1st. So that's when we have our plants out into the garden, but you can look at your zone and wherever you are to know the correct time to plant it out, but we'll keep them in here until they're ready to go. Mm -hmm.